my name is Jens, but it doesn't matter here. Um, earlier that month, I was in Brazil to, because there was an event called Couture Digital.br, and I wanted to see the Brazilian hackerspaces. So this is one of the bus which was crowdfunded, not by Kickstarter, but um, another Brazilian crowdfunding platform. Uh, that drove the hackers from uh, Sao Paulo to Rio de Janeiro to go to that kind of event, which was happening at the Museum of Modern Art in uh, Rio. Uh, it's happening, well, it's happening in the Museum of Modern Art in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, this is an area which called the Arena, and there was like uh, political people coming to that event, and then you got the discussion to debate with these people about open data, transparency, all these kinds of things. This is one of the reasons why I was also there. Um, you can see there's a difference between culture in here and culture in there. Maybe they're being the same-minded people when it comes to hackerspaces, but uh, Brazil have much more have a culture inside of their society. You can see that already with the Zamba thing, but it's also going into digital culture. Uh, this was the, like the audience. The guy you see from the second from the left is like the former culture minister from Brazil. He was very, very famous there. Uh, he got really, really good debates on the stage. Uh, I skip that. Uh, this is the Museum of Modern Art, and it's really, really a nice event because they now are starting to get the idea building up hackerspaces. Rio de Janeiro not have yet a hackerspace, while I can say they just founding another one. Uh, this is one of the robots I've seen there, which is very impressive, and it tries to get the clash with the technology and the culture change in there and the actual society. Uh, this is like the only the entrance, so it was completely for free for the conference. Uh, it looks like that. They're recording all the talks and streaming them. And this is like the posters. Everyone can contribute. Hey, we're doing that event. How do you want to make our event look like? So everyone was able to contribute the poster, and they published all of these. Uh, this is like you can put little paper things, and it's flying in the air. It's very nice for kids. Uh, they have a maker board, and so everyone was like showing what's happening in their town. Brazil is really, really huge, so people had to travel a lot in there. Uh, that was on stage, and of course there was like street music outside playing music. What you can see here, it's like 50 people playing music and 200 people around it. So it's a completely different feeling to stand there. The evening concert. So I was taking that bus, which was crowdfunded for hackers, back to Sao Paulo to spend some days in Sao Paulo. And there's a hacker space in uh, Sao Paulo, which is in the Castle de Cultura, which is that place, which is a former place which was used in a movie, but now they use it in the basement to have a space. Uh, it's called the Garua Hackerspace. It's raining there a lot, like in Hamburg, like in my town. So they have the umbrella as the sign. Um, this is the reason why this space started, because it was like one guy in the university wanted to build his own flipper. Uh, the university basically told him, hey, the university is not a good place to do so. So he started a hackerspace a year ago. And now it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger because they got our ideas, they had been on the camp, and they really like that. So what I want to say is there's more hackerspaces between US and Europe. You have to watch over the borders to also other countries. When you go to uh, look at hackerspaces.org, check out if there is a space, uh, announce yourself in the IRC, and you will figure that out. These people was really, really hostile to me. They showed me a lot of things. We partied a lot. Um, One minute call for extension. Like uh, the day I had to drive back, they ordered me a special taxi called Ja Taxi, uh, which has like you can see on the internet, which is his actual position. He has a New York telephone number, so when you're being in New York, you can call him to catch you up from the airport. He has an iPad in the car and Wi-Fi for free. That's basically it. Thank you very much.